My institute has sponsored the largest amount of research ever done on gender depictions in media covering a 20-year span. And uh, what we do with the research is, because I'm in the entertainment industry, I have direct access to the people who are making, uh, who are creating the content for kids. So we just go directly to them and present our research results. We visit every studio, every network. We go to all the guilds, Writers Guild, Animators Guild, and, uh, and share our findings with them in a private and collegial way. And uh, the response was, was at first surprising. It's very universal, the response, which is their jaws are on the ground. They had no idea they were leaving out that many female characters. If I went in and said, you're not making as many movies starring a female character as males, they'd say, we know that. But when I say the movies you are making are bereft of female presence, that's something that they didn't realize. And uh, very often, right in the meeting, uh, someone will say, well, I have to go rewrite my project. Or at one studio, they got out their book of upcoming projects to, to see uh, how they were going to do. And they were like, oh, we got to work on that one. Oh, that one's going to be horrible. <laughs> and so we're getting a great, great response. In fact, uh, we did a little survey of people who have heard the presentation. And 68% uh, of the respondents said what they learned had impacted two or more of their projects. So we feel like this is a great, great result. And every studio and every network says, please come back when you have more research. And so I really feel when we update our research, let's say in 2015, that we're going to see the needle having moved. And uh, this will be the first time in decades. The ratio of male to female characters in films has been exactly the same since 1946.